Hey, Revolution, everybody. Revolution. Uh, this is your boy, Brother Leonard, True Seeker, and I'm on my way um, to go to the gym. And before I do that, I wanted to give this uh, message out. Um, this is in response to last night, uh, Brian Karn, uh, the false prophet, uh, stood before a congregation in Houston and basically said once again that he does not follow witches, witches follow him. Okay, and once again, I'm here to declare and to repeat to you, uh, Mr. Karn, that we never said that you followed anybody. What we said is that you are a thief and that you are a liar and that you are a false prophet. So let's keep that straight and we'll keep that going on that. But in response to the rest of your video, uh, the first point I would like to make to you is you need to come clean and you still need to repent um, for being a false prophet. That's the first thing. Second thing is you said in the video that you were hiring a forensic team, an African forensic team to be more specific, uh, to find out who um, made the video and who put the video out. Well, I'm sorry that you wasted your money um, because you didn't have to hire a team. Um, Ms. Justice, um, who put the video out, who put the video together, put the video out, um, has been open about her own identity in this situation. And for the most part, mo and for the most part, all of us who are on pimppreacher.com, we are very accessible. And we know who we are and we don't hide our identities. We don't hide behind a bunch of avatars and bunch of um, screen names. That's not how we do it. As you can see on this video, Brian, my name is Leonard Robinson. I'm from Clarendon, Pennsylvania. And it's right underneath this. So you didn't have to spend your money on that. We know who we are. The problem is, is that you know that we know who you are. And that is what's scary to you. That's what's frightening to you. All right, my next point about all this is um, in your statement, you began to try to justify prophecies that you have made and whatever. That's neither here nor there. I could care less about whether or not an earthquake happens in Asia uh, because really you're in America right now and the word that you need to speak would need to be to any American right now. You, you worried about some um, Asian earthquake when anybody will tell you, you can follow any, any geological service, any geological. Now I'm just gonna say that, that's the study of the earth. They will tell you that earthquakes happen every day. Okay, every day. There was an earthquake on this planet every day. So it's insignificant that there's an earthquake for you to, you know, to say that an earthquake happened in, in Asia. Earthquakes happen every day. So that's neither here nor there on that one. The next one, you want to talk about how you, um, how you had, uh, you know, spared the life of George Bush or forgot, I'll get to that in a second. But you began to talk about um, how this campaign season is going to be the craziest one. It's going to be very crazy. It didn't have to take a. It didn't have to take a prophetic word of God to find out that the campaign season this year was going to be crazy. It was going to be crazy back last May when Donald Trump decided to enter into the fray. That was last May when he entered in, and by then there were already twelve other Republican candidates, compared to at the time three Democratic candidates. Come on, that's not a prophecy or word of God. That's just for, forecasting. Anybody could say that it was going to be crazy. These people out here in this country are crazy right now. But you want to sit up there and make it like you heard a word from the Lord. Don't give me that. And then staying in politics. The thing that bothers me about your about your prophecies, and you're, we'll get into that in a second. But George P. Bush or he's still nobody, but George H.W. Bush 
you know, he's still alive, but he said that you said that you prayed and whatnot. I don't understand where in scripture, and, and I really want some clarity on this, some scriptural clarity on where in scripture, where it, where it says that when the prophet speaks or the prophet prays over a word that the prophet can change the word. To me, you're sitting up there backpedaling. And if you try to use the story of Hezekiah, that don't make no sense either. You can't use the story of Hezekiah in this thing because number one, George H.W. Bush ain't in power. He's not a king. And plus, that story has no relevance in scripture, has no relevance to what you are saying as a prophet who copied off of a psychic about George H.W. Bush. And you still fail. See, that the problem is, Brian, is that you still fail to recognize or still fail to acknowledge the fact that you stole. Not that you follow. Like I said, we could care less about your following. You stole it. You stole it. And you can name drop all the preachers that you want. You can name drop them all. We could care less. Because in our eyes, they're wicked too. Keep naming them. Benny Hinn's wicked. Rob Parsley's wicked. Keep on going down your list. They're wicked too. So with that in mind, Brother Brian, because Brian, I'm about I'm at my spot and I want to get my workout on. I need to anyways. But at the same time, you can sit up there and go to your prayer and try to bewitch the people again. We're going to sit up there and go after you. We've been tracing you. We've been tracking you down for the past three years. I've had a story on you in 2013 that you sit up there giving women STDs. I sat up there and reported on uh, on um, Bishop Delaney Ellis kicking you out of his church. Because you were sitting up there messing around with his granddaughter. Sat up there and stole because you're a thief. Stole her credit card. <coughs> you stole her credit cards. In the midst of going through her, going, doing whatever you were doing with her, you stole her stuff and used it to buy your next flight and stuff. And other stuff. So don't get wrong. You are a thief. You're a liar and you're a false prophet. Revolution, everybody. You can see his video. I'm putting it in the comments right here. And you can also keep following us at pimppreacher.com. Revolution.